Palmistry reading of a female whose age is 32. We will be reading her hand. Before I start the video, I would request you to press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. You can call me or you can email me. These are the phone number and the email that are mentioned on the screen in front of you. So now we straight up ahead to this particular hand image that we have in front of us. It is generally said that for females, we have to look the left hand and for males, we have to take a look at the right hand. But uh, working women, I give more importance to the right hand, uh, even in females. And uh, there's an assumption people think that uh, left hand and the right hand, they are completely different. But in my case, I, I, I basically say that both hands do show similarity. It's not that both hands are totally dissimilar. They show similarity. So we have to consider both hands to come to the final conclusion. So I will start by telling you each and every aspect of the palm right here. See, in the first case, when we just take a look at the hand, the hand, uh, first we are taking a look at the hand structure. By hand structure, we mean the bone structure and the bone structure in the palm and the padding over different, different mounts. So if the hand structure is good, by good we mean strong. It means a better hold over people, money and resources. A strong structured hand brings quality to the hand. It means richness to the hand. If a hand is very weak structured, it means weakness in all aspects of your life. If the hand structure is strong, it means strength in all aspects of your life. So it's a reasonably mixed kind of a hand. Like I would say somewhere in the middle, it's not very strong. It's not very weak. It's somewhere in the middle. So even having it somewhere in the middle is considered to be good. If we find, if we are trying to take a look, which area of the palm appears to be prominent, you, you would notice that the area of Mount of Venus is appearing to be padded. Padded area means that particular area gets more qualities and Venus is a warm planet. Warm planet means for this particular person that such a person is going to be extremely warm by nature. Uh, there are various degrees to the padding also or in different different people. If there's extreme padding, like extreme amount of warmth is there or extreme amount of energies and stamina and vitality. Uh, is there if it is very flat kind of an area very with without any padding it means a person doesn't have any desires as such so a mediocre or more than uh, uh, more than uh, like somewhere in the middle or above padding is always considered to be good because it brings in more energy stamina and grace and beauty in one's life so these people are graceful these people love beauty and this is what they uh, they uh, uh, they are good at so this this is one aspect the other aspect if you notice on her hand is i would talk about the money line first uh, this is the initial money line and it touches the line of head. This is the headline. And the line although continues, but it is extremely weak beyond the age uh, above the headline. And this portion, it is very, very weak kind of a line. Very weak kind of a line loses its significance. And this portion of the line is after the age of 35. So uh, this is one part before the age of 35, you would notice that even in this particular aspect, the line of fate is kind of getting diminished out here. Like it is kind of weakening. It is kind of wavy and it's become really thin and weak kind. So the at uh, I've just mentioned the age, the intersection of the money and the line of uh, head is age 35. So this portion of the line is before the age of 35. From this portion, 33 to 35 onwards, the line is is very, very weak kind. And uh, it is losing its, uh, its all its energy. Apart from this, you would notice if we zoom in into the hand, uh, we are uh, trying to see what's happening somewhere close to the age of 35 in this particular person's case. We take a look at the line of head and this is the money line intersection. This is age 35. So you would notice that there's a backward kind of a line from the headline. This is the headline pointing towards the Mount of Mars. 
माउंट ऑफ मार्स इज अ रेड प्लैनेट रेड मीन्स एंगर एग्रेशन एंड फायर सो अ लाइन टारगेटिंग फ्रॉम द माउंट ऑफ मार्स ज्वाइनिंग इन इन टू द हेडलाइन मीन्स योर माइंड एंड थॉट्स आर गेटिंग गाइडेड बाय मार्स एंड मार्स बींग अ रेड प्लैनेट इट मीन्स एंगर एंड एग्रेशन एंड if anger and aggression comes into your mind because this is your line of mind this is not the line of your intelligence this is just the line of your mind the line of your thought process so if there are one or two lines joining into this particular area it means that due to anger or something the person is likely to make some few mistakes apart from that this area where you find that this money line is kind of uh, going bad it also is the area where i give two or three reasons why the line of fate the line of money goes bad and what reasons there could be uh, specifically during this these particular years she is traveling in 32 plus so uh, so the thing is that uh, what happens is that either there is a job loss or a work loss because money line talks about the money job loss or work loss the first thing is that the second thing is uh the second thing is the main earning member of the family their health or wealth goes bad and the third possibility these are just three possibilities one of them may apply not sure that uh, uh, surety but they are just possibilities the third option could be person's personal life can also go bad during this particular portion of time there are two reasons money line going bad and these backward lines from the headline pointing towards the mount of mars so these two indications but apart from uh, apart from the line of money going bad uh, and this particular line losing its uh, all its energies there's another line moving from the mount of moon and continuing and ending somewhere close to the mount of saturn this is the mount of saturn saturn is for money possessions and wealth this is the area of your responsibility this is the area of uh, uh, being grounded all these kind of things so a money line that starts on the mount of moon moon basically means travel moon basically means uh, uh travel and it could also mean uh public appreciation something to do with public appreciation trading activity service industry anything that is changeable anything that might be fashion so many there are many aspects to it not necessarily uh there's one profession there but there are multiple professions that can be associated with a money line starting on the mount of moon it could be travel travel within the country or outside the country and it could also mean because moon is associated with water as well moon basically brings tides in the ocean and that uh ocean connects different different continents so it might have to do with foreign uh, con- uh foreign country or it could be help coming to this particular person from male members and male members and foreigners in foreigners we can say male as well as female both these things so in spite of having the money line kind of uh, vanishing away uh, this this initial st- uh, initial line because there's a another parallel line the chances are the sources of income would continue there wouldn't be any problem having two line of money could mean dual profession two sources of income but not necessarily it is not uh, necessary that if you have two lines then the person has got more money even a single line can give more money compared to uh, compared to two lines two lines basically could mean just a pillar of strength imagine this is a building uh, hand is a building there are pillars and beams if you put another another pillar or another beam the, the building strength and so same goes with a dual kind of a uh fate line the money line the saturn line so this is the uh, other aspect the other aspect is beyond the age of 35 on the headline you would notice this is the portion of the headline beyond the age of 35 the line of head is very neat and clean that means uh whatever the person is thinking those things are likely to happen no untoward incidents no aggression all these things are going to get subdued 
now we take a look at the another very important line that is the heart line now the heart line is generally associated with your love life it is also associated with uh, uh, with your relationships and uh, i have tried to associate this with uh, with your work life uh, life as well first we will talk about your personal life and then we will talk about uh, your work life your profession from your heart line although this is only for the line of relationship but we can see any aspect of your uh, any aspect of your life from each and every line so the first part is the line of heart is uh, is kind of having many branches over it these kind of branches over the heart line now branches over the heart line means distractions falling for temptations getting distracted see the thing is that we have to give our heart to either one relationship or you have to give your heart to one work if you are committed if you are determined and committed and uh, uh, your focus the chances of your success increases so the thing is that the this person uh, may get success uh, i can't deny that but the problem is that the person is constantly getting distracted and the person is falling for temptations and the person is flirtatious now by flirtatious generally people think that flirtatious means they are just uh, flirting with different different people it's not like that flirtatious means just getting distracted not being able to focus your energies into one work and uh, uh constantly uh, if somebody comes up to to you with a different proposal you're going to fall for it now the good part about the heart line is that the heart line is ending on the mount of uh, sorry on the mount of saturn this is the area where the heart line is ending now the heart line ending under the mount of saturn is a good sign for material gains it means that the person is kind of uh uh, focusing her heart towards money side so people who who value money are the ones who are able to make good amount of money in their life so you have to value money you have to respect money only then money is going to come to you and you are going to be able to multiply your money so th this is one aspect that uh, that is clearly uh, visible and uh, just these branches are a little bit uh, negative but not as negative as i have described the thing is that i have to describe whatever i'm seeing so if these branches were very strong very extremely strong and very deep then the effect of these branches are extremely negative but these smaller branches can are distractions but they can be ignored uh, it's, I mean, the, the effect of these things are no, not going to be huge as i have explained to you uh, the way i've explained to you now we uh, take a look at another important area that is the mount of mercury now the mount of mercury is for skill calculations communication this is the area of statistics economics physics chemistry law anything and anything technical it can be anything you can imagine it can be even architecture or anything so uh, people who have perpendicular lines over the mount of mercury those lines are considered to be good good lines and this particular person does have these perpendicular lines over it you would also notice many other lines kind of getting targeted towards the mount of mercury these these there are many many lines out here see these lines they are so there are multiple lines targeting towards the mount of mercury it's better to have out specifically out here it's better to have a single line instead of having too many lines although each and every line that is pointing towards the mount of mercury is a new set of skills but at the same time imagine a situation uh, when you're trying to master too many things so your mind is totally occupied and there's no space left for any other idea to come in imagine a situation i'm just uh, giving you a different analogy this is a blackboard and on the blackboard if uh, it is full of something is written on it you can't uh, you can't write anything else on it so if a, per a person has got a clean board a clean blackboard nothing is written on it 
whatever you write it's going to have an impression and it's going to be written forever something like in the uh, in the mind of a child a child is born with a clean mind whatever you feed in that the person the child is able to learn at a very very fast space so having less lines out here is comparatively better than too many lines uh, but these lines are very very uh, thin kind of lines if they were if they were deep uh, i would have said uh, uh, said more the thing is that such a person is having multiple set of skills and uh, the deeper the line the more prominent the skill the person is sharpening if they are comparatively weaker kind of line i would suggest that the person needs to sharpen their skills even further the sharper the skills the better it is con considered to be it's not necessary that uh, you need to have these mercury lines only then the person is successful but uh, but to have a deeper and clearer line is always better. Sometimes a person may be super famous and uh, a very rich person and still the person might not have a single line. So having no line is also very good, but having less lines is always good. So th this is one aspect that uh, that's need to be told. Now we move to the line of sun. This is the line of carrier, any line pointing towards the sun mount. This is the sun mount, any line point, and this is the sun finger. So any line pointing towards out here is the sun line. So you would notice the sun line starts at, the, at an early age, but there are breaks in the sun line. These are constant breaks uh, in the sun line. So I'll just tell you what age is it. This is the headline, this is the heart line. So this portion of the sun line is before the age of 35. This portion is 35 to 53. And this portion is 30, 53 and beyond. See, the thing is that each and every sun line that you see out here means success, name and fame coming to this particular person. Uh, before the age of 35, beyond the age of 35 to 53 and after the age of 50, 53. But the problem lies in that the lines are a little bit thin kind of lines a thin kind of lines uh, is something like uh, i'm just going to give you a different analogy to it uh, just for explanation purposes the thing is that uh, sun line can be correlated with the actual sun uh, this is sun out here and there are lots of clouds out here so lots of clouds mean that the line that you are unable to see the sun and if you can't see the sun the earth is not being uh, won't be able to receive the energies of the sun so what happens is the plants on the earth are not going to grow as faster as if the the sun was shining bright so it means uh, in when the line is thin it means that there are few doubts doubts destroy everything so removal of doubts is necessary and it basically signifies that uh, something like if there are clouds coming in front of your car the speed of, our, of your car is going to get reduced so this is another as, uh, way of explaining you would notice that the sunlight becomes more prominent it gains much more strength somewhere close to out here this is the age when the sunlight becomes uh, much 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 deeper and the age at this particular point is age 44 if this point out here on the i'm just drawing a sun line something like this just for reference sake this is age 35 intersection of head and uh, head and uh, the sun line and intersection out here is 53 so if this is 35 out here and this is 53 so somewhere in the middle it's going to be 44 at the age of 44 i would say that uh, for, uh, things are going to be become better and it's not luck. Try to understand it is not luck. People correlate the sun line to be the line of luck. Don't think it is the line of, and some people say this is the line of name and fame. I don't say that, I don't deny that it is, it will, it is going to bring name and fame, but at the same time, it is all about how much energies we are giving to our work. So when the line of sun becomes distinct and clear, it means that the person is trying to energize his work. It means that the sun is shining bright and the earth is receiving lots of sunlight out here. So if, the, if, if, there, if there's lots of sunlight, so it means there's clarity in what the person wants to do. It means 
that the sun is energy receiving the the plants on the earth are receiving huge amount of energies and the plants are growing at a much faster pace so this is what is meant by a deep and clear sunlight the sunlight also kind of uh, uh, there's another sunlight star pointing from this particular area this is the area of mars positive mars positive is different from mars negative this is the area of anger and aggression and this is the area of coolness calmness and tenacity tenacity means in spite of opposition the person sticks to it and kind of uh, uh, that helps him so the sunlight is kind of originating pointing from the Mars positive and joining in out here and uh, then the line becomes much more distinct and angles towards purely towards the base of the finger so this portion from this portion the line becomes much better and the age on the this particular portion is approximately 55 the although the line starts somewhere close to the age of uh, this point the age is approximately 50 but as it moves forward it is a little bit weak but it gains strength somewhere close to the age of 53 uh, so this is one way of looking at now we move on to uh, the left hand also uh, this is the right hand now we just briefly take a look at the uh, at the uh, left hand see left hand and right hand there there are lots of similarities as i have just explained to you these there are lots of branches out here Branches could also mean uh, branches could also mean like stress and anxiety and palpitation. Uh, imagine I'm just drawing a physical heart. Just imagine this is a physical heart, and we are drawing lines over it, ropes over it, and ropes are hanging with a small weight. So if something is hanging down to your heart, it's going to weigh down on your heart, and it is going to create stress and anxiety. And it is going to stress your heart so these branches that you see are of stress and anxiety and uh, uh, it uh, this is basically the line of attachment attachment bring in expectations expect for nobody expectations are fulfilled expectations are not fulfilled because they are not fulfilled anxiety anger crops in and because those anger and uh, crops in the chances for the person not being able to perform perfectly in their work increases so the person needs to remain committed focus that's what brings more success now the other aspect of this particular palm is uh, in the initial part this is the line this is the area of mount of jupiter jupiter is a big planet in geography you must have read jupiter is a big planet big planet means growth expansion in your life honor in your life position in your life so when these lines join into the headline headline or the lifeline any one of these it joins in it is considered to be a good sign it basically means the person is getting guided by jupiter getting guided by jupiter means honor and position and everything coming to this particular person the other aspect on this palm is you would notice this is the heart line and there are few parallel lines something like this these could be said as uh, lines of uh, girdle of venus just taking a look out here this is much more clearer so these lines that you see is girdle of venus now girdle of venus is kind of sister line to the heart line people call this as a sister line to the heart line now sister line to uh, the heart line basically means the person becomes more emotional the person become, becomes more sensitive and these lines uh, could also be considered to be the lines of uh, hysteria hysterical nature hysterical nature is something like uncontrolled emotion when the person is happy the person is extremely happy when the person is sad the person is extremely sad imagine the situation uh, see for every person in day-to-day -day life this is uh, this is a negative trait but depending upon what profession you are depending upon what profession you are it can give you very good result as well so uh, if imagine the person is uh, is in acting or photography or any other thing there this this aspect plays out in a unique way and they are able to depict things that that really anybody can is depict it's not because it's mainly because they themselves are so different from inside that uh, they are able to project those different things 
uh, in a different way. So, uh, so even uh, although for day-to-day -day life this is negative, but it can play out in a positive way for uh, for some people. As far as the money line goes, this is the money line. It is kind kind of very confusing. Although it again ends on the headline, it, although it continues beyond that, but it's weakened. Same thing I'm not going to repeat in this particular video uh, on the left hand, but there are similarities. What is unique about out here is that there are many lines joining in into the line of fate, the line of money. And all this thing is happening before the age of 33, 34. That's the approximate age. You would also notice that another line is kind of branching out and moving towards the Mount of Mars. Uh, let's consider the line of money, the line of fate to be a river. Let's imagine that this is just a river. And if another tributary joins the river, it means more flow. And if any tributary goes out of the main river, that means the flow reduces out here. Okay, so out here the flow is increasing. Joining in of line is good. Uh, a line moving outward and specifically moving outward towards the Mount of Mars is negative. And this is happening close to the age of 33, 34. That's the approximate age. And there are two instances. One this line, then there's another line. So there could be a few losses or something like that. Uh, on the headline, before the age of 35, a little bit earlier, there's a downward kind of a line pointing towards the Mount of Moon. So this may be seen as a little bit negative. This is happening somewhere close to the age of 30. So the, uh, the possibility is a mental disappointment happening during that particular portion of time. Uh, then uh, somewhere close to the age of 34, you would notice that there's a V-like portion. So the age 34 is going to be good. After the age of 34, many changes. And after the uh, 34 to 35, it's going to be good. Beyond the age of 35, new line develops, and this is uh, this is uh, this is a fairly good, deep, clear line. It indicates good amount of money, positions, and wealth. Uh, same same thing can be said about the Mercury line. Uh, whatever I've said, uh, whatever I mentioned in the uh, right hand gets applied to the uh, left hand as well uh, although the, these horizontal lines if they were not there it would have been better uh, horizontal lines and uh, to not too many lines it's better not to have too many lines over any particular amount uh, the sun line is also extremely long long sun line uh, is okay but the thing is that there is not consistency they are constant changes that uh, that are going to take place in her case and uh, uh, after the age of 53, things are very stable. And from the age of uh, 44 to 53 is also good, reasonably good in this particular case. I would uh, uh, just tell one last point and then uh, I would end this, uh, this particular video. That is, we talk about the line of life. This is the line of life. It is appearing to be short. And the branches from the lifeline, they move towards the Mount of Moon. Same thing cannot be said in the right hand. So we would consider right hand to be more of the active hand instead of the pa uh, passive hand. And uh, so the line of life is complete out here. Uh, even if we consider what age till this particular point, we would say so somewhere close to the age of 60, 65. And these branches that move towards the Mount of Moon, it means uh, the person wanting to travel increases. The person is a constant traveler. And it could also mean uh, getting restless. Restlessness creeps in. So, uh, and staying far away from their birthplace. So many of these aspects may get applied uh, to this particular person. I would uh, end the video out here and uh, Yes, I'm trying to see if anything else that uh, I can speak out here before I end my video. Uh, in the left hand, I'm just going to uh, drop on one particular thing that is uh, the Mercury line, the Mercury finger. Now, the Mercury finger is the finger of communication. And uh, if it doesn't reach its the top line of the sun finger, this is the sun finger, this, this is the sun finger. So if it doesn't touch the top line of the uh, ring finger, the sun finger, 
uh, mercury finger is considered to be short. Now I have to reconfirm with this, this particular person that is this finger really short or probably the way the image is taken, it is appearing to be short. So, but I'm just telling you what the meaning is. If it is short, it basically signifies that probably uh, the person uh, like uh, kind of might create distance between their near and dear ones. So somehow the distance is going to get created and the person may not be able to bridge the gap. So bridging the gap, my suggestion to her would be bridge the gap between your near and dear ones. And uh, I associate mercury finger, this mercury finger to a communication tower. This is a small tower and this is a big tower. So a big tower has got a bigger reach over people and smaller tower has got a smaller reach. So this is one aspect. The other aspect I've repeatedly seen with a small mercury finger is that uh, somehow uh, because this is also the finger of education and intelligence and all these kind of things so and education so what happened what might also happen is the desire to study increases the thirst for knowledge increases so probably they, they would keep on studying keep on studying and uh, uh, so th this might be playing out and uh, uh, and one more thing is that the mercury finger uh, it should reach somewhere to this particular point. So, so, so somehow, sometimes I have also found that mercury finger when short, these people can be, uh, although uh, like they may go for higher studies or something like when when it is short. And uh, that's it for this particular video. Before I end my video, I would just repeat few things that I repeat in almost every video. That is, we can come to know about money, possession, and wealth from any aspect of our, of our, of our hands. And uh, we can come to know from money from your heart line, your headline, lifeline, sunline, Mercury, Venus, Mars, or any other line or any other planet. Importance of money is just 15% in how, in how much money we will be able to make in our life. Uh, a saint once said, you don't need to go to an astrologer or a palmist. To know about your future because you know your future already present is the result of past how will be my future future depends upon what you are doing in the present what are we we are product of our thoughts so the thoughts that come to our mind are really important keep positive thoughts and keep good company sometimes our hand may have many things lacking in our hand but they might not get applied because we are in a good company if a person has got a perfect hand but is in a bad company everything is going to go bad so company matters the most thanks for watching and uh, do give your like or uh, do comment and uh, you can ask your question down below in the comment section bye and take care